Hello and welcome to this short tutorial on how to find your three research study articles from peer-reviewed journals using the University Library website. So first of all open Google Chrome, type in UWL Library, press enter and then click on the library web page and then go to here where it says databases A to Z and the database we generally use is called SINAL Complete, which stands for the Cumulative Index for Nursing and Allied Health Literature. Within that, it also has a number of other databases, which I will show you in a moment. You can also use PubMed, which is a public bibliographic database like SINAL, and it's also worth learning how to use that. But for the purposes of this video, we will just focus on CINAHL. Now, first of all, you can go and choose databases, which are here. And as you can see, you can choose Academic Search Elite, which is a useful database. And you can also search Medline. So now type in your topic. I'll choose Malaria to start off with. then I will simply choose a cross-sectional study and press search. Now have a look at these and as you can see here for some papers you will they will tell you what uh, the type of study it is already in the paper so you can see a cross-sectional study a cross-sectional study and an easier way to also do this is to actually change this field to title so you want cross-sectional study in your title and then you want to choose go through this read the abstract here and decide on one paper that is a cross-sectional study now, one thing you can do is to click this button called full text. You shouldn't normally use it for general literature reviews, but for in this case where you don't want to collect a range of different cross-sectional studies, but what simply want to choose one, full text is fine. Publish date, and ideally you should focus on the last five to 10 years because that will give you the most interesting papers uh, that you'll learn something about. And so I will start with 2015, and that will be totally fine. And then go wider if you don't find anything interesting uh, that you'd like to use as a paper. So here you can see there's a range of papers on malaria. And this one looks interesting, knowledge, attitude and practice towards malaria among symptomatic patients attending Tumbi Referral Hospital, a cross-sectional study. Or this one looks also interesting, malaria care-seeking behaviour among HIV-infected patients receiving retroviral, antiretroviral treatment in southeastern Nigeria, a cross-sectional study. Once you've identified your paper, you should download it. Hence the reason why we clicked full text so you will get the full text here and so you can just for example click this get the paper if that is the one you want and then download it which you go to this button here there's different ways how this presents itself but generally it presents as I've shown you here and then change it now what I normally do is I remember and I put the last surname and this is what you need to do is to put the surname uh, last name of the first author uh, the year which is, in this case is 2019 so it's Sandy 2019 and I will pick the first three to four words of the title. So I'm going to copy these because I can remember Sandy in 2019. So when I download it, I will download it into an area that I think is appropriate. So in this case, I'll just download it here 
in the MSC area and then I will put Sandy 2019 and then paste those first six, seven words from the title and I will save it. You can put cross-sectional study at the end of it if you wish to, uh, but that's optional. Then we can go back and then same thing we can do cohort study again you don't need to put title here you could leave it as just select the field but generally by putting in title only it makes it easier to search for things but as you can see here even without putting title only you can see here in these titles you have cohort study cohort study and you can see here it still stayed as full text and it still stayed in the last five years. So I think this one looks interesting. Spatial temporal clustering of South Central in South Central Ethiopia, a community-based cohort study. So again, I can download that. Now, of course, you do need to read it and understand it. So it is important for you to have a look at uh, the rest of the paper to make sure that you have a good idea of what the paper is about and that it makes sense to you. We will look at this in a bit more detail in future sessions, but for now, please also look at the abstract, read it, have a look at the rest of it, make sure you understand it. And again, save by moving your mouse to the top here and then download it. And again, the same thing It's by Solomon, who's the first author, 2019 again and then the first few words of the paper Solomon 2019 Solomon 2019 and I'll put the and try and make everything lowercase apart from the first word or if there are any names those stay as we are having a capital letter in the word and lastly randomized controlled trials now remember there's two ways to spell it so it's best if you spell both ways which is randomized control trials with a Z in randomized or with an S and I normally go for trial. I think trials reduces uh, the impact. And normally I also put quotation marks, again, just to make sure that we get the kinds of studies we're really interested in by making sure that the database searches for that specific phrase, randomized control trial. And again, you can see here, even without changing this to title only, Title only just makes it a bit easier. Search to 96. And again, you can choose one from here. Again, you can see it's saved the full text. It's the last five years, which is fine. And I will put this one here. This looks interesting. Community-based intermittent mass testing and treatment for malaria in an area of high transmission intensity study design and methodology now here this study is interesting but it's only the study design and it's the methodology so this is one thing to watch out for you cannot use this paper because it only describes the design and methodology it's a protocol so p-r-o-t-o-c-o-l so remember you don't want to have any protocols they are not appropriate so let me and this generally happens with randomized control trials so i'm going to show you and find you some protocols so here it is a study protocol for a cluster randomized trial so if you read this bit here the abstract you will find that this just describes the study and what they are going to do in the future. The study presents a protocol, the design of the study. And that's not what we want. So I'm going to remove that. I'm going to move that there and I'm going to go to search. 
Now, just something useful for later, not for this module, but you do have search history here, and this will list all the searches you've done today that I have done, as you can see here, it lists them. And I can also view the results by clicking this button. So if I wanted to go back to the version which said 96, which is the same as here, I did not really need to do it again. I could just go here. Or if I want to look at it without looking at the title only, this TI here, then I can go to this search result with 217 and I can identify the paper. Now you can do that with anything. You can do this with smoking. You can do this with substance misuse, drug abuse. You can do this with HIV. Let's make this smaller so you can see the actual list. You can do this with alcohol or binge drinking, for example. Let's do that. Binge drinking. Here you go. Binge drinking. See here. Reduce alcohol misuse. So again, interesting paper. And again, you can do the same thing. You see you found papers that are randomized controlled trials. Let's see if there are any cohort studies. Now, the best way is to stick to one topic. Here it is, there's a retrospective cohort study. Findings from the Constances cohort study, again, interesting. And this one also looks like a cohort study. Now, with court studies, you may find that by going title only, you reduce court studies to a very small number. So it is worth just expanding it a bit. But just in case, if you're not sure it's a court study, this is a good way to identify them very quickly. So you can see here in the title of all of these, it says court study. And that's it. You just need to download the three papers and then upload them. Um, and there's some separate information. Upload them to your OneDrive folder. And you do that by going to the student portal. Going to the OneDrive folder, going to shared on this page in you will see a list and you will see that one of the folders is a shared folder. You need to just double click that folder and then upload to this folder or to drag and drop papers into this folder and the folder will ha include your student ID and your name in it so you'll be very clear and within that folder you will have a module folder for measuring public health and well-being or introduction to epidemiology and you will need to put the three study articles into that folder and remember you need to change the name you need to call it by student ID, your student ID first, then the last name of the first author, then the year the article was published, and then the first six or seven words of that article's title. If you want to search in PubMed, then again, go to Google Chrome, type in PubMed, go to PubMed, and this has a very similar interface to Sinal, except that instead of having lots of different uh, search boxes, one below the other, this 
database only has one search field and then you will see the query appearing in this query box here. So for example, it, again, we use the same model malaria. Um, we're going to search in all fields so we can add it. And as you can see, the malaria appears in the query box. Then we want to add cross sectional study and I'm going to add that again I can change that to all fields or I can change that to title only so I will change this to title only and then I, will, I want to add it I don't want to uh, it as an or or a not function I just want it as an and function and so you can see here you've got malaria in brackets so it's searching for malaria and it's searching for cross-sectional study in the title and this is very similar to how Sinal searches, except it doesn't show it so immediately unless you actually click the search history button, which I showed you before in the video on searching Sinal. So let's search. And here we are. We have a range of cross-sectional studies appearing. Now, remember with PubMed, the obvious ones are the free uh, PubMed articles that are useful for you. Otherwise, you would have to order them from the library or buy them online. So in this context, the easiest way to look for them would be to look for the free uh, PMC articles. And again, it's the same kind of thing. So if you got here nutritional status of children in malaria, in mes or endemic areas, cross-sectional study on prevalence, intensity, predictors, influence on malaria, parasitemia, and anemia or you could go for this one cross-sectional study on the adherence of malaria guidelines in lakeshore facilities of Buende and Kaliro districts in Uganda or you can go further down and go to prevalence and risk factors of preconception anemia a community-based cross-sectional study of rural women of reproductive age in northeastern Tanzania so again you can click that we know it's a free article you can see here free or you can click that one let's go to PMC and there's the PDF so you can click that and you can download it in the same way you go down check that it's the right article that you're happy with it just gonna make it bigger and you can see here the same downloadable button is here so you download it but again before you download it make sure you find out it's um, Masemo the year is 2018 and I want the first few I might even have cross-section study in there but remember colons aren't a good idea in titles so avoid that so I'm just going to copy this command C or you can go right click and copy and that was Masemo 2018 make sure you've got it in the right folder that you're happy to keep it now remember you to download a version first onto your computer then to upload it onto OneDrive and saved and then you can go back here to the first tab and go back or if you want if you you can see here all we have to do is change this to cohort study instead of cross-sectional cohort study make sure everything else is fine search and here we go again we've got here early infection dysregulation of angiogenesis and that sounds intriguing but i'm not that interested and here it is spatial temporal clustering of malaria in southeast South Central Ethiopia community based cohort study. We saw that in Sinal. Um, again, this one looks interesting. Malaria nutritional status among children with severe acute malnutrition in, in Niger, Niger. A prospective cohort study. So let's have a look at that. And again, the same thing go to PMC full text and PDF. And you can download it from here again using the same approach. I won't do that here. So I hope you found this uh, useful. You can use PubMed. It is a very useful way and it is free. Uh, Sinal 
would need to be paid for outside the university. So it's very useful to know how to use PubMed as the major scientific bibliographic database that you can use that is free for everyone. I'm just going to go back to the search results here. And again, you can do here last five years. And you can do full text here as well. So again, all the articles are now full text. Now remember, this is only useful if you're not doing a literature review. If you're doing a literature review, you need to find every single relevant article, even if you then have to pay for it or you have to order it through the university library, because it's really important to understand the full range of information available if you're doing a proper full literature review. Now, in the university context, we normally say to you to only identify a few articles, and that's totally fine. And then you can get away with saying full text. But remember, if you're doing a proper literature review, if you're doing it professionally in a workplace, you would not use full text. You would just go and change that. And you might find the last 10 years, the last 20 years, the last 30 years, and find every single paper that is relevant to your study topic but as i said in this context for this module this is totally fine to use full text you can save it you can email it and again you can do the same thing with synal but again for this module that is not so relevant but later on if you, when you do the dissertation these two things will be very helpful and useful um, i look forward to talking with you in the next session if you have any problem uh, get in touch with us in the next teaching session. Bye.